Hey guys, welcome back to Two Can Do. I'm Roger Peterson. Uh, here we're always struggling to move toward those relationships that Ecclesiastes 4 9 talks about, where two can do what one cannot. But it's not it's not just an acquaintance. It's a it's a relationship in which two people trust each other, they depend on each other, and they help each other with questions, courage, and change. Oftentimes, um, motivation for these things is key because it's really hard. It takes very consistent, intentional work to, to work on heart issues. It's not a quick fix. It's not like going out and buying some curriculum. It's not like finishing a book. It's changing deep patterns of how you do things. And so it it takes a lot of intentionality. It takes time to develop, to develop new patterns and then to work to where the relationships are actually deep enough to, to be in the heart rather than in the, the uh, hey, what's going on level. How do you get there? What motivation do you need to have in order to get to that level of work, that level of intentionality, that level of consistency? What kind of motivation does it take? Well, all I can do is describe to you my motivation. And the motivation that I had was a motivation of being fed up. It really started when I was 40 years old. I had a come to Jesus moment with Jesus. And basically I said, I'm fed up. I'm fed up telling people how amazing you are as a pastor. And yet I didn't feel anything amazing going on in my life. I was absolutely fed up hearing about how much you loved me, God, but didn't feel loved by you. I was absolutely fed up. I, I, John 10.10 10 just sort of laughed at me. Jesus comes to give us abundant life. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? My life does not feel abundant. I'm doing all these things I'm supposed to be doing, and my life does not feel abundant. That was my motivation. That was my motivation to look deeper than the surface, deeper than my habits, deeper than my spiritual um, routines. That's when I started looking into the heart and realizing that something was really messed up. As we start a new year, I want you to ask yourself that question. Am I happy? Am I loving life? Do I feel loved by God? Am I convinced he's amazing because of the amazing things going on in me or in my world? I'm not saying everything has to be positive. I'm not saying everything has to go my way. But I would love something to indicate I am in a relationship with Almighty God. Well, if your relationship with him is not about the heart, if your relationship with other people is not about the heart, you're probably not going to feel excitement or love in your heart. Here at Two Can Do, we wrestle with the things that change, grow, heal, strengthen the heart through questions, courage, and change. This year, I challenge you to ask yourself those questions. Am I happy with my life? If not, get to work. Things can change, I promise you, and I would love to be a part of that here at Two Can Do. See ya.